town The cops just get the run around Wham bam, Kefal, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry These bad guys got no alibi Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse No baloney, this guy's no phony On ass to the bone Step on the gas mag, trap that fat cat Al Capone Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your pants goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. Since coming to Cheese Cargo, Elliot Mouse and his untouchables has succeeded in shutting down a large part of gangster Al Catone's network of illegal operations. But one area remained where they could not loosen the evil mobster's iron grip. That was his stranglehold on Cheese Cargo's police department. With the help of the many corrupt police in the city, Catone's thugs were able to carry out their dastardly crimes, safe in the knowledge that no one knew who the rotten cops were. A piece of information that should have become known would hit Catone where it hurt most. So you can imagine my surprise on discovering what arrived in the mail that morning. Hi, this is for you, Mr. Barati. Ah, well now, that is strange. There's no return address. Hey, maybe it's a letter from a secret admirer. I wouldn't get your hopes up. Huh? Huh? Great balls of Gruyere, I don't believe it. What a headline. Yes, sir. Now the cheese is really gonna hit the fan. Policeman caught accepting bribe. So, someone finally got caught. Seems like you fellas got beaten to the punch in bringing this corruption thing to light, huh? Well, as long as it helps us nail Al Catone, any competition is most welcome, Miss Deborah. One thing puzzles me, Tino. How exactly did you get hold of this photograph? It came to the office in an envelope with no return address. That's all I know. Hmm, it would sure be interesting to find out who sent it to you and why. Maybe they were scared to leave their name. Maybe they took the photo by chance. They were in the right place at the right time. No, this is too serious to have happened by chance, Gordon. Something's going on. Hey, here comes Chief Stunt. Maybe he has some more information on the photograph, Elliot. Ah, there you are at last. I found you all. I've been looking all over Cheese Cargo for you and your men, Elliot. Well, Chief, have you arrested that corrupt officer in the photograph? Yeah, yeah, well, we've taken his statement, but there's something that I, am. Um... You mean he talked? Hey, what did he say? Did he give the names of any of his accomplices? Come on, Chief. Oh, well, well, the truth is that I, um... Has he provided you with new evidence, Chief? Do you think that we're likely to see more photos like this one? Hey, oh, uh... wait up, Tino. Let the Chief talk, uh... okay? Um... I really couldn't say whether there will be any more photographs, but I've just received this one. Holy halloumi! Would you look at that? They caught you cheese-handed, Chief! This is no time for joking, Mr. Barati. Somebody set a trap for me, and it worked! Uh, a trap? Okay, but what about this photograph? I was only identifying the cheeses in a confiscated shipment. I'm with you there, Chief. There's nothing wrong with tasting a bit of cheese now and then. Seems like you were tasting it with both hands. I'm not really a cheese expert, and as the warehouseman wasn't there that day, I had to do all the testing and tasting myself. Hey, you should have called me in, Chief. Listen, there can be no doubt about it. Someone other than Catone is keeping a very close eye on the police uh, department. Ah, sure, Elliot, but someone interested in seeing these bad cops brought to book. But if that's the case, why didn't they send the photo of Chief Stum straight to Tino at the Cheese Cargo Tribune? Yeah, that's a good question. To which I think I have the answer, and if you'll take a look at this note, I think you'll see why. Unless you want to end up like your crooked colleague, leave a hundred thousand cheese dollars at the main entrance to the train station at midnight. Hey, that's blackmail! There you have it, Elliot. You can see I'm trapped. If this photo ever gets published, no one will ever believe I'm innocent. I shall just have to resign. Don't worry, Chief. We believe you, and we won't let that happen. You can count on us. We'll go to the station and find out who's blackmailing you. Do that, Wilson. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gordon and I will go down to the police station. The police station? 
Why? I've got an idea. I think I know how to catch this anonymous photographer if he comes back. All I need is some cheese to bait the trap. You see, Chief, Elliot knows who the right man is to have around whenever cheese is involved. How about it, Deborah? Can you spare us some cheese from your storeroom? Mm, of course, you know how I just love helping you out, Elliot. Mwah. I'd do anything for you, you know that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Deborah. Well, come on, guys, let's get out of here. We've got a lot of work to do. I got a feeling this thing goes pretty deep, Chief, and I don't think that you're the only guy who's being blackmailed. That's right, Senior Catone. That's the total amount the cops who are friendly to our cause are being blackmailed for. And they want the cash delivered at midnight at the Twain station. If not, they'll publish the Pikachus. Mm, those cheese rats, five million for this garbage? Well, I just won't stand for it. They're not that bad, boss. Have a look there. See? We're quite photohygienic. That's photogenetic, you ignorant moron. Enough! Huh? Huh? You peripathetic bee brain Lucas? All of this is your fault. Huh? Huh? I don't know why I keep you around. If you'd been more careful, they'd never have gotten these photographs in the first place. Yeah, who's that? And if you'd done that, we wouldn't be in this mess and facing a long spelling cat catrash. Excuse me, Senior Catone. A call from the police station. It's some cops we got in our pocket. They're wanting to know if we're gonna pay the blackmailers or not. They what? Give me that phone. All right, just listen to me, you cheese bags. You better start digging into all that money I paid you in the past, because I ain't shelling out another penny on you. Understand what I'm saying, cheese ball? Yeah, okay, Senor Catone. And you better not try a double cross, else I'll change those uniforms of yours into cement overcoats. You hear that? Nah, uh, you idiots. That's telling them, Senior Catone. Does that mean we're not gonna go for the payoff? Use your head, Nitty. We can't afford for those pictures to get out. You're gonna have to go to the drop off. Oh, I see. So we're gonna pay them after all. That's clever, Senior Catone. No, you huh? idiot. We don't pay them. You just go to the drop off point so you can find out who's been trying to blackmail us. And if you come back with empty hands this time, it'll be you paying a visit to the bottom of Lake Michicat. Now get a Come on, what did Catone say? He ain't gonna help. He said he wouldn't even spend a single penny on us. He said what? After all we've done for him in the past? Why, that dirty cat fink? If I'm going down, I ain't going down alone. I'll tell those fans everything. What are you, crazy? If you try and rat on Catone, we're all done for. Why, we wouldn't even be safe in prison. He's right, fellas. We better get out of Cheese Cargo while we can still run. Well, I got a cousin in New Career. I guess I can head there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I got a cousin in Australia. Hey, come back here. Where'd you think you're going? If we work together, we can find out who's blackmailing us. Ah, uh, you yellow cheese bellies. I'll just have to find out my own. This is the place. Yeah, uh, someone's coming. Better hide. Uh-huh. Good. Looks like there's no one around. So this is where they took the picture of you, huh? That's right. Where do you think he was hiding? Huh. I guess the photographer, whoever he was, must have hidden behind that skylight. From down here, it's hard to tell whether there's anyone up there or not. Well, with this ladder, it should be easy enough to catch him if he comes back again tonight. And thanks to these disguises, the photographer will think Gordon is a crooked cop. Well, from where I'm standing, it's not all that hard to believe. Hey, Gordon, come on. Just take it easy. We don't want to run out of cheese before the photographer even gets here. Well... I gotta look convincing, don't I? Well, well, who'd have thought it? It's kind of funny that the untouchables themselves will be the ones to get me out of this jam. Now, let me see. It's time, Wilson. Wait, Jack. According to my watch, there's still three minutes and 23 seconds Just a left minute, to midnight. Wilson. I think we've got visitors. Rat Nitty, what's that creep doing here? Come on. No mistakes. Lose the cash, and Senior Catone will make shredded mozzarella out of us. Look, Wilson, they're carrying an attaché case. Now I get it. Some other corrupt cop is being blackmailed, and those two thugs are here to pay the blackmailer off. Huh? Hey, what was that? It's just the whistle of a train getting into the station, you cheesehead. Hey! hey wait a minute. Hey, what are you uh, pushing, uh, Gorgon's on the press? Hey, come on! Hey! With... Yeah, with all them hick-town commuters, I can't see nothing. Oh, hey, Scott! Go 
Help me! Get over here! Help me! Ah, yo, quit shopping. Huh? Hey, someone stole the case from me. Those kids have snatched the case. All right, well, we better get after them. Get hey, out of the way! Hey, hey, hey. Someone stole the case, Nitty. You cheese doodles. Look, it's the Untouchables yeah, car. we better follow them. Come on! It must have been them took the case. That car's catching up with us. Don't worry, they won't be able to get you here. Come on! That train can't stop. It's gonna hit. We better hold on tight, Wilson. Here it goes. Uh, whoa! Oh, wow! And sell me. Hurry it up. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. I just can't stop. I can't control it. It's no good. The ground's too wet. Yeah. Oh, no. That was a close one. Uh, you? Huh? 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 I'll use the emergency floodlight. through your uniform. What? Eat any more. That ain't my fault. This uniform just doesn't have to be my size. Ooh. There he is, the phantom photographer. Let's get after him, Gordon. Follow me. Come on. Hey, I'm still eating. Oh. Hey, what's going on here? That's just a little kid. Hold it right there, son. <laughs> oh, you think they'd make these things bigger? I'll follow them. Yeah, but how? I'll go by the street, then they won't see me. Hold it, son. Come back. I don't think this board will take my weight. Here I come, huh? Elliot. No, Gordon, wait. Don't do it. No. <laughs> Hold on, Gordon. What do you think I'm going to do, Elliot? Those cheese rinds are going to catch him. Ah, uh, now I've got ya. <laughs> oh, well done, Gordon. That sure was a big help. Now he got away. That's right. Keep going, my photographic little flea bag. I'm right behind you. It's no good, Jack. We can't track them in this weather. Any tracks they may have left have been washed away by the rain. They could be anywhere by now. I said I was sorry. Hey, did you hear that? Someone's coming. Elliot, Gordon. Hi, fellas. Fancy seeing you here. What's happening? Have you found something? The photographer took the bait, but Gordon was so full of cheese that he got away. He must still be around here. I was just trying to make it look realistic. I can't do everything, can I? And what about you guys? Have you found anything? What brings you out here? We think some kids snatched an attaché case from Rat Nitty earlier, and we followed them out here. Some kids and a stolen attaché case, huh? Well, that's very interesting, because our photographer was only a kid. Just a minute. If you two chase that boy here from the police station, and we chase the other ones here from the other side of the city... Then it can only mean one thing, Jack. Yeah, their hiding place must be around here somewhere, and we gotta find it, Wilson. And unless I've missed my guess, we already have. Oh, 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 hey, that was a close one. I almost got caught back there. Hey, but why? What happened? They 
were waiting for me. I only just managed to get away. And then I came straight back here. You don't think anyone would have been able to follow you here, do you? You kidding? I lost them ages ago. They're out running in the rain somewhere. Well, well. Uh, oh. Yeah, like he said, well, well. So you're back. Holy cheese, Ron, it's Mad Dog himself. Are you sure nobody followed you here, little fella? Yes, sir, Mad Dog. I mean, Mr. Pug, sir. But I'm afraid we can't take any more pictures at the police station. Don't you worry your head about that, son. The main thing is you're safe. We've already gotten good value out of our invention. Oh. Yeah, that's right what he said, our little invention. <laughs> yeah, it's a knockout. As soon as the others get here with the money from those crooked cops, we'll be able to fix the roof. Yeah, I can't wait to see the surprise looks on the faces of those crooks when their pictures get published in the newspapers. By the way, shouldn't your little friends be here by now? Hey, it's here. Look, we got it. We got it. Have you taken a Yay. look inside to see if the money's all there, Sonny, huh? No, no, we haven't looked yet, Mr. Bug, sir. We thought we'd better wait and let you open it here. All right, all right. Now let's see what we got here. <laughs> Those crooks, they tricked you! I what? Don't you me. That's unbelievable! I'm sorry, my little compadres, but this here case is empty! Empty? Zilch, there's nothing in it, nada. It's a vacuum. Nothing at all, but we were relying on that money to help us repair the roof. Oh, Father Segur was looking for it and fixing that roof so much. Now, you shouldn't reproach yourself, kids. You did all you could. You gave it your best shot. What's more, it's thanks to you that Chicago is going to be getting rid of an awful lot of rotten cops, and that's something you guys can really be proud of. And in the meantime, we also managed to get a bit of revenge on that fat cat, Katone. Look, here comes Father Segura. Oh, I seem to have disturbed something. What is it, fellas? Have you been having some kind of a meeting? Oh, it's nothing, Father. The boys got scared of the storm, so we gathered in here to pray to help us all to get through it. Ah, my dear Mr. Pug, you certainly seem to have a way with a younger generation. I don't know what I'd do without your help. I really don't. The feeling's mutual, especially as you helped me to get all this money. Come, gather around now, my little ones. I gotta get word to Mr. Catone. I'm sure he'd be more than a little interested in what I say. Honest, Senior Catone, I didn't have a thing to do with it. It wasn't my fault. I tossed him to do a simple job and they lout it up. It was all their fault. Honest, it was, Senior Catone. Hmm. Oh, idiot! I warned them. I said, ow! Hey. I'm sick and tired of listening to your excuses. Not content with being a bunch of brain-dead, cheese-breathing morons. Oh, no, you had to go and lose all my money to brighten my day up a little more, didn't you? You want to see me go to jail, is that right? <laughs> Who is it? It's Officer Wall here, Senior Capone, and I found him. The blackmailer. What? I found him, Senior, and it's Mad Dog in person. He's hiding in the Church of the Holy Cheese. Thanks for the information. You did good, and you'll be well rewarded. Seems like you guys have had a little luck for a change. Somebody's done your work for you and found the blackmailer. He's hiding in the Church of the Holy Cheese. Now get out there and finish what you started. And if you fail this time, then you better not bother coming yes, back. Yes, Sr. Catone. Don't worry, Senor. We got everything under control. Huh. Well, my little friends, it seems I may still be able to afford to keep feeding you the cheese that you love so much. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. You! How'd you like to go fishing, fish bait? Hurry it up, let's get out of here while no one's watching. Come on, fellas, now we'll find out what's really going on. <laughs> My dog! Hey, untouchable. You're behind all this blackmail. I don't know what you mean, officer. I work here. Aye, but this is a church for orphan children. I help Father Segura take care of these little cherubs. Leading them down the path of righteousness, yes, sir. Well, from what we've seen tonight, it's a pretty crooked path. Turning them into criminals. Uh, hey, fellas, look! These are the cops I saw today! You see, right along the path of righteousness, Brother Elliot. Okay, kids, why don't you tell us what's been going on? 
And you can hand over the photos you've been making so for me with, Mad Dog. Got it? Absolutely. I was just dropping them over to you. No hard feelings, right? And you're gonna hand us back that cash. Ain't that right, Mad Dog? Nah, that's just what he told you, small flies. It looks like you kids have been double crossed. Is that Brad well, telling the truth, Mr. Pug? Well, you see, we were thinking of surprising it. That's it. Yeah, everyone likes a surprise now and then, right? Okay, spit it out, Mad Dog. I can't wait to see what you come up with to get out of this. Uh, I was gonna pay some construction worker friend of mine to get started on the church roof. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You'd have to be a priest or more gullible than these two to fall for that one, Mad Dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the commotion about, and who are all these people, Mr. Pug? Oh, with all this money, we'll be able to repair the entire church. You're such a generous man, Mr. Pug. Hey. Oh, I, uh, oh, huh? Get after him! Don't let him get away! Come on, up those stairs. And you get out of the way, Four Eyes. He knocked down for oh, the cigar. we are gonna pay for that. Hey, come on, hold it there, kids. We're trapped. Not yet, we ain't. Well, now what? Look out, Gordon, he's got us pinned down. <laughs> Shucks, I ain't got no more bullets. He must have run out of bullets. Let's close in on them. Hey, Bobcat, move it. We can get down onto the roof from here, so let's go. Is that a good idea? Sure it is, Humphrey. Now go ahead and jump. No, no. You go first. Show me how it should be done. You chicken. Okay, I'll jump. They're getting away. Hey, this roof ain't that bad after all. Priests are always complaining about something. Come on, Humphrey, jump down for cheese sake. Oh, uh, well, that's easy for you, sir. You're down there now. Okay, Bill, go get him! <laughs> no, hurry, uh, hey, what's happening? Quit shoving! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm filming. Pick on someone your own size. <laughs> Great, Bill. You rang their bell. <laughs> Here are all the photographs we took, Mr. Mouse. Thanks for all your help, fella. And if you don't mind, sir, we'd like to apologize for not believing in you in the first place. No need to apologize. The work you've done will help clean up the Chicago Police Department. In fact, the Federal Mousehold of Investigation has decided to award you all the Police Medal of Merit. It's a symbol of our gratitude so that all Yay! police officers will wow! follow your good example. And that's how the case of Mad Dog School of Crime came to an end. And thanks to the photographs those bright young citizens had taken, all the corrupt cops in Cheese Cargo were arrested, including the ones who managed to flee the city. Cheese Cargo thanks you, kids, and it also thanks Elliot Mouse and his untouchables. Larger-than-life gangster Al Catone is the main suspect in a blackmail racket aimed at Chicago's police department. But as the evidence is gathered, the spotlight falls on an unexpected quarter, with love hanging in the air to be a bumpy ride for Elliot as good and evil collide. Can Chicago's police department salvage its battered reputation before it's too late? The chase is on. Can law and order triumph? To find out, don't miss the next knockout episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables.